No, that's that's a very good question. Um, I mean, the two things that jump immediately to mind, firstly, is the sort of community-driven aspect of DAOs, right? It's kind of a double-edged sword in the sense that, you know, DAOs are supposed to be super community-driven, which is fantastic, but also it's also incredibly inefficient, which is something that MakerDAO has realized. And, you know, that's why they have like a whole like a delegate process and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I think that's something that is still like many DAOs around the world are still trying to to solve, right? Like how do you balance the sort of decentralization aspect of it with, uh, you know, the, 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 the efficiency, right? That a more centralized uh, um, uh, government can provide, right? I think the stat in, uh, uh, in the US, for example, right, is that, um, you know, 50% of a previous president's uh, laws uh, get revoked when the new president comes in, right? And so, I mean, that's just one, I mean, and, 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 and the US is a very centralized, you know, right, a body of power, but it's, it's gotten that way through a, a kind of decentralized voting process, right? And so in a DAO situation, which is properly, properly decentralized, like how do you navigate the community aspect of it uh, without losing some of the efficiency? I think that's something that a lot of DAOs are struggling with today and, and are working hard to solve. The other thing I think is a regulatory side, right? It's, man, the <laughs> regulatory side is tricky. <laughs> like we saw uh, uh, the recent lawsuit from the CFTC with Uki DAO, right? Um, because, uh, uh, I mean, to be fair, like Uki, like the, the CFTC sent them like a warning beforehand. Uki Dao ignored it. They rebranded, and then they got stuck with the lawsuit. But the details of that lawsuit essentially say that um, you know every participant in the Dao is actually responsible for the decision of the overall Dao. So when it comes to you know who do you sue? Well, right now apparently like you're suing everybody, right? Like I, like at the very least, that's that's what the CFTC's uh, 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 sort of argument is leaning towards. And so I think the regulatory side is going to be a lot trickier for DAOs uh, moving forward. And I think it's, you know, you, you need to find environments uh, and regulatory regimes which are more friendly, right, for DAOs. Uh, now, I'm not a lawyer, so <laughs> I, like, I don't want to give legal advice, but, you know, um, but yeah. <laughs>